that stream should be starting to all being well. Hello everybody. You'll see from the side hopefully. It just takes a few seconds to refresh. That's my Facebook streamers panel. Looks alright. Playing in the Owly Super Blitz Arena on Lee Chess as per usual. Just check I've got the cameras in the right place. I have on the left. Um, if this is leechess.org, <coughs> excuse me, the website I'm playing on. And this is 3 minute blitz, it's a 57 minute arena, so we'll get about 10 games in. And my start rating 2205. Very rare that I get over 2200, this is me kind of playing towards my limits. 2260-ish is my best ever rating in both blitz and bullet. So it's going to be, you know, a lot easier to lose rating points and to gain them today. Anytime I'm playing around this, I'm more likely to go down than up. 10, 9, Game 8, one should be again, so 7, we'll go next to in the 6, list. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Right, 2200, good luck. You see, you get 20 seconds to make your first move. There goes E6. Okay, let's just play a knight up. Turn it into an E4 game. I'll just take. Oh, what do I want to do? Not d4. I'll go c3 and then d4. I think. I can block with a bishop if I need to. Okay, trying to grab a pawn. Should I let him take a risk? Um, yeah, I'm just going to prepare the castle. Oh, he's grabbed the pawn anyway. Okay. Take, take, take. I'm just going to still ignore that. Probably making a cataclysmic mistake here. Let's just take and I'm going to side so if I'm going to take a risk here. Give him all the pawns, why not? He can grab another one and another one. He doesn't bother. So I can take, he takes, rook across. No, 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 I don't want to do that. Let's just play a pawn up. He pushes. So now bishop across. I'm going to try and fling something up the board. Clearly I've made a bit of a mess of this game, but not to worry, these things happen. Just go up. And up again. Now the rook can come out potentially on the dark square. Should it or shouldn't it? We'll get the other rook out first, then this one up. Not on the light square because of the bishop. I know we're threatening to take a pawn and then check. So the pawn is hanging. I'm not threatening really anything else though. Queen up, he's got the annoying bishop down. So maybe the other rook up and hit the pawn as well. Let's see what he does. So he has played bishop across, so I can grab the pawn. Can he come immediately in as a threat? I can't then play king across. He's hitting the pawn. I can play rook takes and sack. I'm going to take anyway, but what do I do? Maybe rook back. Let's guard the pawn. I'm assuming he's going down here. That's what he's done. So rook across actually threatens mate, so I missed that. That was silly, so I can't take. I just missed it. Mm. I have to play up, I think. Only move. He can probably just take, take. Check, and he's going to win the rook. Yeah, I've made an absolute hideous mess of this first game. Maybe I can get away with pawn takes here. Yeah, I'm going to pre-move that. If he sacks, I'll take with the pawn. He grabs the pawn, so I could get rid of the bishop and then plant the bishop. Give him the exchange, but dicey, dicey, dicey. I'm going to do it though, why not? Take the pawn. 
Oh, I've given him check and he gets the queen off. Why did I do that again? I'm, I played relatively poor late yesterday as well. I'm just not seeing anything. He should just check, whip the queen off and it's a clean win. Or it should be. Okay, so we'll trade that. Now, can I get any counter play? I doubt it. We're hitting the pawn. Let's go up, hit the pawn. Okay. So we'll just push here and try and eliminate these, I guess. He still has to actually convert, of course. I've got maybe pawn up. Let's just push the pawn. I don't see anything else. I can't really allow this. Um, let's just push. Okay, so rook back. Oh, I've just noticed the clock. I hadn't even seen the time. I'm flagging him is clearly my only realistic chance here. Um, let's bring the king in over, maybe up. I'm just trying to find holding moves. I might even drop back. Push. Excellent, wow. Didn't deserve that, did I? Made a right mess of that game, he outplayed me completely. It's risk and reward, I guess, against the clock. You know, thinking time versus quality of move and so on. But boy, I didn't deserve to win that one. You know, 8 or 9 out of 10, that's an automatic loss. 16, 17, good Okay, 1600 gone berserk, outrated so much. Let's hope it's legit, I'll... Have a look after the event. If he's going this way as well. Okay, I'll take it on. Let's just drop back. He plays bishop down, so I'll castle. Knight up and across, and then eventually in over. Yeah, let's just come in over. I think I can hit the rook there, then maybe the bishop. Knights guard each other. So take queen takes, he hits the bishop. Knight up is a move to hit bishop and rook, that looks strong. Let's go this way. The knight is still protected, we're hitting the knight here as well. So he takes the knight. So I can take here, he just blocks. I don't like the look of that. So I'm looking at queen takes. Yeah, keep it steady and sensible. We've still got threats everywhere. So he's played knight back, so I guess I take the exchange then. Okay. Just centralise a rook and bishop back at some point. Plays up. Um, don't give him a free bishop there. I nearly missed that. I could actually take this way and open the file up as well. Plays across. So I'll hit the knight. My queen's got a skate path so it shouldn't get trapped. Um, what do I want to do? I'm going to play an odd move, f6. He's getting very low on time. Again, it's risk and reward if you go in berserk mode. The queen across is clearly a move. King up is a move, but it allows knight check. So queen across, 
think looks easiest. Okay. Um, well, again, I guess I've got queen across. King up, he's got check. I don't like that. I could just ignore it though and sidestep. Where's the threat? I'm going to do that. Alright, so now there's no knight check, so I guess. My rook across isn't doing much. Let's. Nice and calm. Let's push. I've got a minute on the clock. I don't need to do anything much here. Uh, let's play a pawn up. No, that's just tempting him. I don't like that either. Now let's push again. Okay, he's hitting the pawn. He's found a threat. So not queen across. Do I give him the pawn? I think I have to. Let's just sidestep. Okay, now I'm going to push. I think I can push there. I mean, I was aware of the clock there again. Very, very quick player, wasn't he? If he hadn't gone berserk, he had a chance to win that one. Always makes you wary when you're playing somebody so much below your own rating. It's like 600 points and he's going berserk. He might be just a really gifted player, though. He's just berserk against everybody you can see that he's very very good for 1600 very very strong 2068 good luck but yeah when somebody goes berserk you always wonder if you're playing somebody's actually a stronger player and they're just the rating doesn't reflect their ability right let's try and remove the defending bishop so i'll pre-move in case he takes i'll play h4 and then g3 either knight down or bishop down is kind of standard there Tempting me, but I'm not going to go for it. I'll just play. Again, pre-move in case he takes. I mustn't forget about the bishop. Now he's gone f5, I'm going to take. Otherwise, I might forget about it. So if bishop will prepare the castle. Okay, he pushes. So I'm going to go king side. So knight up is a move. Queen up is a move. Pawn up is a move. I like pawn up and then knight across. Okay, he just kind of pushed me into it, so I'm going to play it. So we've got all sorts of threats coming again. Unleash the bishop. He goes back. Okay. I'm threatening to still take here and then eventually get knight in. If he plays something like this, he pushes. So I can still go in. Let's do that. Plant a pawn there, then knight up maybe. Knight hits the pawn. Obviously there is the obvious rook, that's what he should be looking at first. And he'll probably get the pawn back, so I might have to take a risk and open this up. He's come forward, that feels like... It's a bit dicey. I do want to play e4. e4 opens the file up. No, I'm just going to play knight forward. e4, I'm kind of inviting trouble. A queen up to pressure the pawn. He's gone back. Okay, I'm going to play queen up anywhere. He's gone back. I don't particularly want to take there. No, I can't play knight back. I'm getting myself trapped. Let's play a bishop up and then take. Otherwise, I'm threatening to push. So he has pushed, so he's weakened his structure a bit now. So I'll drop back. Let's go with a queen then instead of bishop. I'm a better with a bishop. Let's not pre-move. He's played knight up. So let's just push then and try and weaken this a bit more. So he has pushed. Take, take, I don't want. Let's just play a pawn up. Now back again. There is a loose pawn, I'm aware of it. 
Not sure I can really keep it, so I won't worry about it. He grabs that pawn, and it feels a bit dicey. Maybe he can get away with it. Again, e4 feels like a mistake. I'll just go e3. Queen up. Okay, I'm going to try and open things up, activate the rook. Okay, I've given him c4 maybe though, getting a little bit dicey again. He goes pawn grabbing again. Okay, I don't mind that. The queen's not doing too much there. He's gone with the knight. I'm just going to drop the queen back. Oh, mind you, there is a threat there if he plays knight forward. He's just ignored it. Again, let's try and provoke this and just drop straight back. Got to get this other rook activated. He's gone for it. So I'll take and take. Again, the clock is probably my best chance again, like that previous game. Just drop back, try not to blunder another rook though. What do I do? What do I do? He's pushed. Let's just play rook across, connect them up. No, I don't want to take. Let's play bishop back. Take, take. I think I'm okay to take. Okay, I should be winning down to the clock now. Oh, he's come forward. Well, that walks into a mating net just about. He's very lucky if he gets away with this. Up doesn't work. Let's just check. Again, I'm aware of the clock here. I don't need to do much. Again, I only played that because of the clock. I might well have lost that one. It might have been a losing position, but... A mm, little bit lucky at the start of this, aren't I? A little bit lucky to get three out of three, or a big bit lucky. 2181, good luck. Now, another one going berserk, but I can understand it at this rating level. And clearly, players at this level, I can't keep winning. You can take with either pawn there if he takes. Um, had this against Ikaru about a month ago. He, he played a lot more aggressive, but it was actually this side of the board I lost. I messed up on. Uh, I think I can just push here, right? Oh, he's given me a piece. Why has he done that? Castle, trade off. Get rid of the knight if I can. I don't care if I lose a pawn. Um, I want to play this if I can. If I take, take, knight moves, he's going to come clattering in. I think I need to play this. Now I still can't take. I've got to move the queen. So he's put pressure on. Yeah, I've got to break that pin. If he takes, I'm still okay to take. I'm threatening to take here and jump the knight somewhere. So it must be right. Queen takes, I just immediately trade because I'm a piece up. So I think he's got to go with a pawn. So do I go ultra cautious? Hit the bishop, he goes back. Let's go this way. So I can take, right? I think he might sack here. He goes across, he doesn't sack. So I'll drop back. Yeah. Knight back is not a move. Knight down is a move. No, that's not a move either. Hmm. I've got check. I'm going to play a knight across and back over. He's attacking really well, will not he? Really, really well. What on earth do I do? Can't play across. 
Night in feels like a waste, but it lines up a potential check and check. So there is a threat there. Okay, so he's seen it, but I can still check. Let's take, because I'm still on this diagonal. Night down goes nowhere. I don't actually see a good square for my knight. Bishop down, oh, I'm happy for him to get an exchange here. Very happy if he gets an exchange, get rid of that bishop. But where does my knight go? Hmm. I'm just going to guard the knight, let him take. Yeah, he won't take. Let's play queen back. Again, I'm covered for now. Take, take as a threat. How do I guard it? I don't think I can. Let's push. Hmm. No, not rook up losers on the spot. I'm aware he can come down, I just don't see what else to do. Oh, he could have done actually, couldn't he? Hmm. I've made rather a big mess of this one. I was able to play just quick enough at the right moment. God, I'm ruddy lucky there, aren't I? Hmm. Four games, and I could have lost three of them very, very easily. Very easily. But 22-20, wow. 22-60-ish is my best ever rating, but it's hard. I've hardly ever been around 22-20. So this is getting harder and harder. 2-8-4, to eight, four. good luck. Same opening. This time he takes. Uh, just take. You can check, you can castle. He's going queen side, we know what's coming. Let's check then. Um, which way? Which way? Let's go this way. He won't take, I know he won't take here. Oh, he has taken, that's a bit of a shock, wow. Let's get the bishop up, but I want it in the middle. Hit the knight, trade it if I can. Get onto this file, rook across. It's very, very hard playing players who play above your best ever rating. I think I say 22.59, 22.60, something like that is my best. And that's in blitz and bullet. But I'm hardly ever over 2200. This is me kind of stretching myself. He's played queen and so he's letting me take to open the file up. Bit dicey. Oh, I don't think this works right now. So let's just play rook across, create the obvious threat. Okay, push and push. If he pushes, I think I just immediately take. So he's come forward. I don't want to trade. Let's go up one. I might be blundering some tactic here. It's probably also good to take the knight now. Probably. Hmm. Okay, I can drop back. Do I want to? No, I'm going to trade. Well, why have I done that? Let's push. I think I've made a mistake trading like this.
Yeah, I've given him the outside pass part. Not much I can do about it. He can time a rook's down. So I've made a mess of this one. This is going to be a loss, but not to worry. These things happen. Let's just play up. Now back. Now I've got to give my king a square, of course. Right, now I can try and release the rook once the king is up. Not before, because he can pin it. Whoa, he's launched one. Why has he done that? Threatening to take. Let's play it back. Hmm. Yeah, trouble is I can't actually stop this. Yeah, I've got no threats, have I? I can just sit and hold. I've got no threats, no real moves. Let's go across. Oh, he goes grabbing now. Again, understandable. Yeah, what have I got? Nothing. Yeah, obvious. He just pushes. Let's go around the back, but I've got no defence here. I don't think he can just push down. And he does. Check across, check. I can check, though. Where does he actually go? So I can take... Oh, he's just pushed. So I guess I have to just try and repeat in whatever way I can. He's going to tuck the king round here, I think. Yeah, that's what he's gone for. And then I've got no defence. Yeah, he's seen it as well. Exactly what I said he should do, and that's what he's done. No defence there, just give him that and say well done. I've not seen any title players in this set. You get the odd Grandmaster turns up now and again. Oh, there's a CM. Not played him before. Right, 16.55, good luck. Now he's in 23rd place. 3,800 games should be enough to establish a rating. Let's just take. He chooses to take. Okay, I'll just take and meet up then. Okay, d4 while I can. Let's play up and try and provoke this and then just drop back. Now oh, castle. Okay, now he's given me a protected pawn in the middle. I'll hit the knight and maybe take if he gives me a chance. He plays across, so I'm not going to go for that. Um, I don't want to lose my pawn, though. Let's play queen up, then I can drop back if I need to. Now, he might undouble my pawns here. He has. So now I've got a really good pawn structure. Or in principle I have rook across, bishop back, and bishop back, or bishop up maybe. Let's just create the obvious threat. He's just got to see the obvious. Oh, he's missed it. He just didn't see it. Unlucky there, he just didn't see it. Everybody blunders. It's just a case of when. Right, 2059, good luck. <laughs> Now that's the berserk button, what my opponent's just done, you can hear that. 6,000 games again, it's an established rating, or it should be. Yeah, should I match it? I think it's generally good to 
match the fee and kettle. So I'll take. Uh, actually, no, I won't castle. I'm going to push. I'm going to risk sacking a pawn here. Well, he does go for it. Let's push then. Maybe queen up. Yeah. He takes. But can he get away with grabbing back? Okay, I can play rook across our castle long. He just takes. I think this is still good for me. It feels like it should be. Which way? I'm going to go this way. Oh, he's gone kingside as well. That I didn't expect. So rook across into the middle. Let's play queen up. Okay, do something about my backward pawn while I have a chance to. It feels like there should be a move like knight up when the time is right. Okay, that's a pawn. Okay, knight up doesn't quite work now because he hits my queen. So let's just drop back. Knight up is a big threat here. Hit the rook, hit the bishop every which way you can and he's allowed it. So knight up threatened to take with a check, hit the bishop. So that's an exchange. Okay, no need to give away a free pawn. I can block a queen check with a check if he gets one in. Queen up is a big threat. Rook check, knight takes, queen is no good. But now I'm threatening to come up. I can drop the king back if I need to. Can he get away with that? Is he trying to do knight across? I'm just going to look for the rook trade. Again, I've got time this game. My opponent's gone berserk, so I need to slow down a little bit. Now he's wandered off. That must be mate, right? Check. Open. That's checkmate, isn't it? Excellent. Very good. Very good. Again, he just missed it. He'd seen it, and then he forgot about it. So going pretty well. Six out of seven, but could have been three and four. Could easily and should easily have lost a few of them games earlier. Right, two, two, three, five, good luck. Another one gone berserk, but again at this rating level I can understand it. Let's go sensible solid. Bishop up knight up if he checks. He doesn't, so I'll just castle. Okay, I'm gonna attack a little bit if I can. Actually, let's take. Um, knight up, hit the knight. Goes back. Which way, which way? Let's take. There is a check playable here. Pawn blocks takes is not a move, but it's annoying, so I'm going to play it. Let's go forward. Play up and bishop up. Now I can take or I can retreat, but I can only really go there or there. If I go here, he's got bishop back. Could be awkward. So I'm going to take and bishop up. Hope I'm not trapping my queen, but I've got currently two squares. Pawn down actually cuts them both, doesn't it? I better retreat here, I think. How do I do it? Actually, no, if he pushes there, I'll just come straight in. So I'm going to try and get the knight across. The knight up is a move now, I think. So check, takes, check, up. That's checkmate, right? I don't think he can take, because I think it allows checkmate. Gone back. So rook across, I'm just kind of pushing him to a better square, so I'll just take. Knight check is not currently a move. Ok, 
Uh, yeah, this is what I meant about running out of squares to run away from. I might be lucky. Hold on, knight. He just goes across. I can take. What's the threat? Bishop down. Let's break that pin immediately. See, he is low on time as well. Get the knight back. He's played across. I guess a step over. Oh, he's just taken. Up. Knight across. Excellent, got another one, wow. That's the risk of going berserk, because these players are comfortably stronger than me. You can just tell with some of them, they are at a different level to me. It's the clock that's doing it. 2003, good luck again, 18th place. That means he's playing really, really well. Why do you open with E3? He's maybe done a mouse slip. Get yeah, knight up if he checks, he doesn't, so castle. Bring the bishop back. Maybe I should have conceded knight up there, I didn't. Um, let's just hit the bishop. Oh, he plays forward, so I kind of take it. No, it's a little bit dubious, isn't it? Let's play up so the rook's definitely protected. So the rook guards the rook if he checks, but my king's got no escape square. Hmm, so choices, choices. Take, queen takes is no good. I'm just going to take. I want to play a rook across to pressure the pawn. Try not to trade them if I can help it. Then queen up is a threat, pawn up, and he's okay right now. Hmm. Let's play it and just drop back. I'm going to play pawn up so my king's got a square this way. Now hit the rook. Now double up. Again, he's got the same annoying move, but as long as I'm not blundering my bishop, this is playable. Okay, so he's gone after the bishop, logical. I guess I have to come back. Or well, maybe here actually just to hit the pawn. Yeah, he's gonna have to push and he does. Well, I've got rook across, just take if he takes, but can he get away with take and take? Can he get away with it? I'm gonna play back to hit the pawn. Take, 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 take. Okay, well now he can definitely trade, can't he? So let's push again. I'm kind of concerned about this, but I think I'm okay to take right now. I'm going to try and push the pawn again. Right now he's got the queen, though. Oh, no, he hasn't. Okay, well now he's let me push to so try and open this up. Oh, he's gone for it. He has taken. 
I think I need to take. Don't care if he takes a pawn, it opens his king up. It's this one that might be a problem. He's gone for it, so one queen up, hit the pawn, hit the pawn. He's got no queen check in one move. I'm threatening this as well. So he needs to find a defense for his king. That's the urgent priority. I've got a minute and a half. I should slow down a bit here. So I can definitely take... Again, is that just mate and two? I think it is. It is. Excellent. Wow. Unreal. Fifth place. Eight wins out of nine, but on another day I would have lost at least half of them. Hmm. I can't keep winning against players at this level, though. 22 28 is like one of my best ever ratings, and when you're at your peak high rating, it's always a lot easier to go down than to keep going up. So I'm going to make blunders and lose some of these games, but going really well so far. Right, 2 2 13, good luck. Okay, let's play another Karakhan. Take, so take. Um, now let's play knight up, then bishop up. Yeah, I don't think this sack is any good immediately. It is dangerous, that though, allowing the knight in. It's very dangerous. Uh, let's play up and bishop up. I'll have to look at this after the event. I might have got my theory slightly wrong there. I might have allowed bishop takes. Knight across. I think I'll just take there. Drop back if the knight goes across or down. And now I need to find a way to break out, but I don't actually see how to do that. Knight up takes, takes, knight takes is no good. Knight up isn't a move. I'm going to play pawn up and maybe pawn up and just try and gain some space. Up, up, and up. And up, and up. I've got no real option. I'm in a complete box here, aren't I? So Clearly, I've got my theory some wrong somewhere here. Oh, we can take. If I take, he gets this. But can I break out? Hold on, what's wrong with king takes? Yeah, what's wrong with king takes and a cross if he takes? I think he's made a mistake. He's going to have to go with the... Oh, I can go with the rook, can't he? He hasn't made a mistake. I've made a cataclysmic mistake. Okay, how do I salvage it? Bishop back. This is the problem. I don't know how I didn't see that. How did I miss that? No idea. Got to play a knight across, but yeah, it's just winning on the spot. Let's just get on with the next one. Mm, I just missed a tactic there, so you say well done, but I can't keep winning against players at this level. Not game after game after game. 14 minutes left, so we'll get two more games in. You see, these are all strong players at the level I play at. Right, 2064. Good luck again. Oh, another one going berserk. 64,000 games and 8,000 blitz, so it must be established. I played e4 earlier, didn't I? But let's do it again then. Okay, I'll take. Okay, he's trying to play too fast for his own good here, so hopefully we can catch him out somewhere. Well, this is a bit of a problem, so I'm going to play c4. Um, bishop up or back, I'll take. Let's take. I do a sack or not. Let's just play up. Well, let's get rid of the knight. 
God, he's playing so horrendously quick. Wow. Some players are just gifted, of course, as being very naturally quick players. Can I play a four here? Take, 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 sack a pawn. I don't think it quite works. How do we get him thinking? I'm going to play queen up, although I'm allowing this. It's maybe not the best. Oh, I can take, take, take. I think I can just take there. I think he's blundered. Checkmate, excellent. Bishop cuts the king. Excellent, very good, very good. Everybody blunders just like I did in the game before. So 12 minutes left, still time for two more. 1986, good luck. Again, another one doing really well, 24th. But I'm only going to get matched up with players who are pretty high at the standards. Another one playing this. But this time he's not using Berserk mode, this player. So let's see how... How he plays it. I think pushing up there is alright. Well, he comes forward, so take should be okay. I think bishop up and castle. Uh, pin the knight first, then knight across. Just threaten to take. If he castles, just take. Whoa, does that work? I can see what he's doing with a check and the bishop, but I'm not sure it works. I hope I'm wrong. I might be just lost here. So if I take queen down and that's the mate threat, and I don't think there's any way out. Rook across to hit the pawn. Try and give the king a square. I've just blundered horribly there. But right now, check, I have got a square, so I can take either way. Let's go with a check. Obviously I can sack, but I don't really want to. Check, takes, check, back. Doesn't quite win. How do I line up some way of tricking him? Bishop up threatens mate. But he's got this, and he's got a repetition if he wants it on the spot. He's probably got a win here, hasn't he, though? But there is a mate in one threat. But he's far too high rated to miss things like that. I've just blundered, allowed that simple tactic, so not to worry. So he's played bishop up, so is it time to take and bail out? I think it is. Um, yeah, I guess knight up there. He's still got check and grab the pawn. He's got all sorts of threats here. The queen back and trade is no good. King up. He takes and he hits everything. I'm going to block. He won't do it. He'll go that Oh, he has taken. Hmm. It's only an exchange, isn't it? Only an exchange. Okay, I can't afford to trade the rook though. Just go this way. Four pawns each and a bishop against rook. How the hell do I get my rook back though? Hold on, why can't I push here? He's given me momentum to push my pawn. Now I'll go back forward again. If rook back, I think I can just push. Right, so now we can check. So he's gone back. Look across. The bishop guards both of them.
And Bishop threatens check. Mm, he's blundered it horribly. Um, let's not blunder this back. Wow, nicked another one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I've been completely busted in a few of these, haven't I? Wow. Ten wins and two losses. This will be my last game coming up now, though. If I blunder one away in 30 seconds, there's still six minutes left, I'd stop anyway. 1941, good luck. So this is my final game. I'll be and well, I'll be back for this event same time tomorrow. Plays the immediate knight up to just queen back. You can play across and back, but why waste a move? Knight up an e6. You don't want to allow this, which I might well have done in that previous game. Um, I think bishop up is playable in time here. If the knight's on f3, there's the dangerous check coming in, which I think I allowed in the last game. So I'm still trying to play this. Hold on, have I got a tactic here? Check and take, assuming he castles. Take, take, take. Doesn't work quite right now. So let's still play this. If he castles, I think I've got bishop takes, queen takes, and check. He's got no knight to block it. Okay. I'm threatening check here. Oh, he's covered it again. He's done well there. He's got to go back with a bishop, I think, and I'll just drop back. I could just go right back where I am and do a repetition, I guess. It's a good result, really. Just go back. But then I've got bishop up. I've pre-moved in case he takes. Well, I could go with the pawn and make it interesting. But no, I won't. He can still go queen side. Um, okay, I'll take there. I've got a check here hitting a pawn, but then he gets this. A check there, he can just block. Mm. Now, do I do it? Do I open everything up? I might as well. Or do I just trade into an end game? If I take here, eventually he's going to come in like this and it's a bit of a problem. Yeah, he's allowing it. So take rook across, take rook takes. It's far too dangerous. So I'm just going to ignore it in castle. Knight up. Queen back as and when I need to. And just try and watch out for this. Right, so move one, move two to come. Let's go here. Okay, now have I got time to push? Um, I'm just going to play rook across the knight back, I think, here. Make sure I permanently guard the pawn. It's a little bit defensive, but I can... Start to unwind a bit. Right now, push. Pre move in case he takes, but he shouldn't do. But this is definitely the last game now. Three minutes left, but I've had a really good tournament though. So I've kept my 2200 rating. Very, very difficult at my level. This is me really stretching myself. Now if he takes with a rook, I can pin it. 
So I'll hit the pawn again, pin the rook, threaten to push. So he really has to move his king. And then I can take and take, and I should be okay to do it this time. But there's the obvious threat of e5. That's the first threat he's got to see. The check is covered. He might just abandon it down to 20 seconds. I've got a minute and 40, so I need to really use my time here. Don't make any quick moves now. Oh, he's just missed it. Oh. It's a pawn up. He wants this, this, and this. So a pawn up. E5. Takes. I could take with the rook, actually. It's actually not a bad move, that. Let's play a pawn up. Now I'm threatening to push. He spent a lot of time on it, though. I can just run the clock down now, so it should be an automatic win. They're never over till they're over at amateur level, but this should be. Yeah, he's got two seconds. I'm not going to lose that one. Excellent. So that's really, really good, isn't it? I'll just pause there. There's no point starting the game with a minute left. So I've got my rating to 2230. Wow. 11 wins and two losses, and they're both over 2200. The players I lost to. 2385 rating performance, 2039. Now, so this is one of my best ever tournament performances. So there's a minute to go. I'll just let it run down then and see what my final position is. It'll be outside the top 10, I'm guessing now. There's some of these that can overtake me, but I'm not really bothered about that. That's currently the top game of the event, number one player, number ten. And you see, the number one player is using Berserk mode. So who are the two I lost against? That one and that one. I'm not seeing them up there. Right, I'll just run the clock down now, 40 seconds, and see where I finish. Then that'll be it for today's stream. I'll be back, hopefully, for this event same time tomorrow. I might even play in the Elite Super Blitz Arena. That's on at, I think, 4pm UK time today, but I, I don't think I'll play in it. I might do, but because my rating's over 2200, I can qualify for that. So that's my performance today, nearly 2400 rating, so really, really, really good at my level. So it's just about to finish, hopefully I'll be in the top 10 then. 8th place, I did stay there, wow. So I finished 8th out of 922, so that's really, really, really good at my level. So that'll be it then probably for today's streaming, so thank you very much everybody, and all being well, I'll be back for this event same time tomorrow, so thank you very much.